am Anibal Alfonso. Thank you once again for coming to my channel. It is very important for me to now tell you that as part of my David Phelps programs during these times, I have received very important reviews and comments from all of you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five David Phelps a cappella moments. Petticoat Junction. Every time you talk about David Phelps as the king of harmony, you have to refer to how good David Phelps goes into a cappella tunes. I remember this, uh, this part of the I Do Believe concert in which Mark Lowry was making kind of a comedy. And uh, Bill Gaither said, well, now we're going to make an a cappella tune. And Mark Lowry said, without music. And Guy Parrott actually told him, well, that's what a cappella means. Be busy. Let's, do, uh, let, let's do an a cappella tune, okay? Ooh, okay. Without music? <laughs> what? Oh, is that what that means? Oh. I didn't go to Baylor. <laughs> um, today, we're going to talk about those five moments I chose from many, uh, many performances that he made in an a cappella tune. Of course, I will take in consideration in your comments every time that you have any favorite one and we can talk about it in other different programs i'm announcing through this through this means that nextly i'm gonna start referring about the gay their vocal band on itself we're gonna make a few programs until we reach uh, may 10th the day before they gave their vocal band a spring tour in pasadena texas a concert that i will attend and will be actually great to be so right now i want to talk about david phelps top five favorite moments in an a cappella tone you can call him i said call him i said tell him what you Over the years, we have been capable to watch famous and glorious singers taking very important tunes and turning them into legends. Singing a cappella can show to the world what the singer is capable to do when he's in a live performance or in a studio recording. In this very important case, we're going to talk about David Phelps' most important a cappella performances made in a group or in a solo presentation. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. As my number five, it is very well known that the Gaither vocal band is known by its patriotism. All over the years, Bill Gaither has performed the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the United States of America. And what a presentation when David Phelps gathered Michael English, Mark Lowry, Wes Hampton, and Bill Gator himself to perform this in this very special occasion. Let's enjoy once again David Phelps as a part of the Gator vocal band, and they performing the national anthem of the United States of America, the Star Spangled Band. And the bombs bursting in air gave proof That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? In this very particular presentation, you can see how synchronized and pasted the voices of the whole group as I cannot say anything else but this was one of the greatest a cappella performances about the Star Spangled Banner you can ever hear.
as my number four, my friends, I was looking for David Phelps information and tunes a few days ago, and I found this interview that he gave in a studio. David performed Just As I Am, one of those symbols of David Phelps' voice qualities when he displayed the Legacy of Love concert a few years ago. But in this time, he performed Just As I Am in an a cappella. It was very live, without any arrangement. That was his pure voice being displayed in this wonderful performance that I really loved. I have to make this clear. Maybe there are lots of performances made in an a cappella or related to other previous categories that I have been displaying about David Phelps, but in this case, many a cappella tunes could be displayed by David Phelps, but I just wanted to remark the ones that musically and of course the one I like the most are um, in this very occasion. Just as I am, as a symbol of David Phelps' voice legacy, as a symbol of what he can make with his wonderful voice, I will let you enjoy when he was getting this interview, this special interview about his vocal abilities and he performed Just as I am. Let's enjoy this part when David Phelps performs Just as I am in an a cappella tune. I am not afraid to follow you where you lead me. I can leave the past behind me. I'm forgiven and I'm free. So here I am. So you can see. As my number three, why not? Mentioning once more Ave Maria, one of those greatest presentations David Phelps had in this wonderful concert. Ave Maria is a very international religious song. I have to particularly say, I am a big fan of Luciano Pavarotti. Nessun Dorma was one of those greatest songs that Pavarotti performed in his lifetime. Probably the best singer that ever perform Nasa Dorma was Luciano Pavarotti. I haven't talked about David Phelps and this particular song because I'm gonna dedicate a program specifically to talk about what David prints to this wonderful lyric. Ave Maria, also performed by Luciano Pavarotti a few years ago, is a wonderful lyric and when you compare both voices, David Phelps and Luciano Pavarotti, Luciano was accompanied by the orchestra but David Phelps met this performance in live presentation a cappella, and what a wonderful idea! Because this is one of those occasions when you realize once again that the voice of a true artist doesn't need to have an orchestra or a companion to be displayed in a very wonderful way. Let's enjoy this part once again when David Phelps performs Ave Maria, and what a wonderful tune! Et benedictus fructus ventris, ventris tui. For those of you fans of David Phelps, it is wonderful to remember that David has united great voices in the last times like Charlotte Ritchie. Amazing Grace is one of those greatest songs you can ever listen to when you need to be left up and your spirit needs to be reconforted. I remember 
New York City Homecoming 2002 when Wentley Phipps performs Amazing Grace in the Carnegie Hall. But right before doing that, he goes to the piano and teaches the people a very important and valuable lesson. At the end of it, Wentley Phipps was like, I probably can listen to the waves hitting the ship and John Newton inside of it and the melody coming along to his ears because when he went to the Library of Congress it says words John Newton but the melody was actually unknown. When I listen to David Phelps in a quartet he joins Charlotte Ritchie and these other two wonderful voices David displays amazing grace in this quartet and I have to say, this is for me the greatest Amazing Grace performance I have ever heard in my life. And we don't need to listen to any music behind. Just with the voices of David and his friends, it is more than remarkable to listen to this amazing, wonderful lyric. How pasted and how well configured the voices are. It's one of those masterpieces you can ever listen in your life. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. The arrangement made by David Phelps himself. He's a quite a specialist in this area. Let's enjoy David Phelps in this amazing quartet singing Amazing Grace. Lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now. That's right, my friends. As my number one, oh, love that will not let me go. And I have to divide these performances because I really love the one they made in Australia, Homecoming, but the one they made in the Gaither Vocal Band Reunion 2009, that was more than amazing. We have to recognize that David Phelps, as a wonderful musician, made the arrangement for this a cappella tune 
one of the most incredible performances made by the Gaither vocal band. Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go is a lyric from the hymnal that every time you sing it, you can feel yourself reconforted and reassured that God is with you all the time. Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go is a masterpiece where David Phelps gathers Sky Pinrod, Rustaf, Bill Gaither in the Australian homecoming. I just look at the image and I see Anthony Berger and how amazed he was and how wonderful the presentation of the Gaither vocal band was in this a cappella tune in the Australian homecoming. If we ever go to the Gaither vocal band reunion in 2009, we can hear David Phelps uniting the voices of those wonderful artists once again to perform Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go. Every time you listen to the lyric, every time you listen to the a cappella tune, once more, you come to realize that David Phelps is without any question the biggest treasure the Gaither vocal band had. Let's enjoy this part when David unites once more to the Gaither vocal band to perform Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go, and which I consider as my number one of the favorite a cappella performances made by David Phelps. Born shall Once again, my friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And thanks to all those friends that have left a comment before. Thank you for following me and please, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. Allow me to remind you that this May 11th, I'm going to be in Pasadena, Texas for the Gaither Vocal Band Spring Tour. That will be an amazing experience for me for the first time to be in front of the Gaither Vocal Band. In our next program, you cannot miss it. I'm going to be talking about what I missed from David Norris Phelps as the king of harmony, as we have been talking in many programs about David Phelps' legacy in his musical career as a vocal performer. I once again invite you to my channel. Please subscribe, leave your comment. Thank you so much once again for coming to the Thomas McCook Show. It is my privilege to always be around these wonderful people that always watch us. Thank you once again. Until next time, I am Nibel Alfonso and I wait you here in the Thomas McCook Show.